Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to another episode of our home-based learning for Max. Make sure to have all your materials ready as we proceed for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will be learning about area. Together, we will all learn to understand the meaning of area, use square units to find the areas of plane figures made of squares and half squares. Let's get started. Look carefully at the given figures. Let's use a square tile to cover these figures. The amount of surface covered by the tiles is the area of the figure. Area is measured in square units. Each square tile stands for one square unit. How many pieces of square tile covered figure A? The fastest way to count the tiles is to do it by threes or by twos. Three, Six. Figure A is covered with six square tiles. We can say that the area of figure A is six square units. How many pieces of square tiles make up figure B? Figure B is covered with five square tiles. We can say that the area of figure B is five square units. How many pieces of square tiles make up figure C? Figure C is covered with 7 square tiles. We can say that the area of figure C is 7 square units. Among the given figures, which has the largest area? How about a figure with the smallest area? Figure C has the largest area, while Figure B has the smallest area. Let's look into the next figure. Aaron makes the following figures using square tiles. How many pieces of square tiles make up Figure A? How about Figure B? Figure C. Figures A, B, and C are made up of 4 square tiles each. The area of each figure is 4 square units. Always remember that area is the amount of surface covered by the tiles. Look at the next figure. Let us use a square tile to cover this figure once again. How many square tiles did we use? Correct, we used 3 square tiles. In what way can we cover the remaining area in the figure? The remaining figure can be covered with squares and half squares. One square tile is the same as one square unit. This is a half square. One square unit is equal to two half squares. We can cover the remaining parts of the figure using the half squares. We can say that the figure is covered by 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 square units. The area of the figure is 4 square units. Look into your pupil's book, page 135. What is the area of figure A and B? To be sure of our answers, let us write the numbers inside the square tile as we count. Always do the same thing so that you don't miss any square tile as you count. The area of figure A is 8 square tiles, while the area of figure B is 9 square tiles. 
which figure has a greater area? Correct. Figure B. Let's proceed to the next number. Pause this video for a while as you try to answer item number 2, letters A to D. Once you're done, check if your answers are correct. Again, to be sure of our answers, let us write the numbers inside the square tile as we count. Do not forget to connect two half squares to make one square unit. Check if your answers are all correct. Let's check how much you have learned in this lesson. This time, answer your workbook pages 141 to 146. After your workbook, make sure not to forget to answer the short quiz in the BBS portal. That's it for me. I'm counting on you. Till our next lesson, have a good day!